how did capitalism evolve from feudalism? And Nirvana Shank says, how exactly did the industrial revolution change social hierarchies and labor systems in Britain? Thank you for your attention to this matter. <laughs> okay. So clearly the two questions are interconnected and uh, let's deal with this. Okay. So the industrial revolution is, it happens sometime in the 18th century. Let's say 18th century. Okay. Industrial revolution. Before the industrial revolution happened, what kind of society did you have in Europe? What kind of society did you have in England? Because it 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 mainly comes from England, you could say, the industrial revolution. What was the nature of English society before the 18th century? How was English society in the year 1066 AD when William the Conqueror takes over England? How was English society in the 1200s, 1300s? How was it? It was a feudal society. What do we mean by a feudal society? It was an agricultural society where you had a very strongly entrenched caste system. A highly oppressive and hierarchical caste system. At the very top, you have the royalty. The royal family and their relatives. That's at the very top. At the top of that, you have the crown. Then you have the knights, the chosen warriors of the king or the queen, mainly the king. Okay, the knights. Below the knights, you have the aristocracy and nobility, which is strong men or thugs who have been given various land holdings by the king to administer on the king's behalf. So every year, these thugs who are called nobles. They will give a tax to the king. They are his vassals. That's where the word vassal comes from. Okay, The French call them the vassals and the English call, call them nobles and so on. So that was where the power lay. And these, these nobles, they would have their own soldiers. And whenever the king needed the soldiers, they would go and fight for the king. So that's about maybe 5% of the population. The royalty, the knights, the, 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 the nobility, and their soldiers. That's about 5% of the, of the population. About 95% of the population were peasants. People who worked as farmers, people who worked in various professions. And they were horribly oppressed. And most people in England worked on farms worked in rural areas and the wealth of the country of the kingdom lay in agricultural produce and what gave you agricultural produce land farmland so farmland was incredibly valuable and it was controlled by these nobles who served the king and the peasants who worked in the farms they did not own anything, no land, nothing. They simply were allowed to work on the land and they had to give most of the produce to the, to the nobles and just barely subsist. That was the deal. A highly unequal society, tremendous uh, power differential, tremendous inequality and a deeply entrenched caste system. That's what you had. That was feudalism in England. So what, was, so what was the source of the wealth of the nobility and the kings and all that? The land, the agricultural land. Okay. Now the industrial revolution happens and society changes. How does it change? Now the, the, the wealth, it now starts coming from industry. Industry, these machines they produce goods that are very valuable, far more va valuable than agricultural produce. And these industries, they are based in these new mushrooming towns and cities, Manchester and whatever else. So suddenly you have these, these business people, these entrepreneurs who very rapidly become more wealthy, significantly wealthier than the, the old time nobles. And these peasants, who used to toil away on the farms, they now gravitate towards the big cities 
because there is money to be made in the big cities. But once again, in the big cities, you they they find that they they own nothing. They own no land. They don't they don't own any property. They live in rented houses, in crowded, squalid rented houses, and the cities start mushrooming and becoming big. And you have overcrowding. You have pollution. You have horrible hygiene. You have epidemics. You have disease. And once again, you have tremendous inequality. And it's the business people who become wealthy, super, super wealthy. And the nobles, they retain some prestige, they retain some land, but they are no longer wealthy. And so you have a tremendous transformation of society. The society transforms from a feudal system to a capitalistic system. That's how capitalism evolved from feudalism. And it created this whole new set of hierarchies it destroyed the old caste system to some extent. The names still continue, and it created these new labor systems, right? So you have the rise of the bourgeoisie, which is the entrepreneurs, the ones who own the means of production. And you have the rise of the proletariat, which is the peasants who used to work on the farms, and then they now work in these terribly horrible factories. So you have this whole new system that emerges out of the ruins of feudalism because of the industrial revolution, right? 